So <laughs> that's archaeology for you. But I'm going to share uh, what we discovered uh, at Kerbert Nissia. Well, uh, this map shows you the Israelites crossing the Jordan River, attacking Jericho and the site of Gilgal. And then you see further to the west, up in the hill country, the area of Bethel and I. And you see I is located on our map there, uh, just a little bit to the east of Bethel. So that's the uh, area we're talking about. And here on our map, we can see the uh, actual site of Kerbert el Makader located right here. We're about 10 miles north of Jerusalem. Now the uh, site that David Livingston began working at is Kerbert Nissia right here because he had determined from his research that Bethel should be located at the modern town of El Bira, right here. Now, Jerusalem is to the south uh, off our map, but you can see just a bit of the uh, runway of the airport of Jerusalem uh, just north of the city. It's just a little airport. They're not set up for the big jumbo jets. They all fly into Tel Aviv, so when you go to Jerusalem, uh, or to Israel, you fly into Tel Aviv, not Jerusalem. But Jerusalem does have, have an airport, and you see it there, uh, just to the north of the city. Now, <laughs> this problem gets very complicated, uh, finding Joshua's eye, and we can't uh, get into all the details of it, but let me just uh, try to give you the big picture here. It tells us in Joshua chapter 7, verse 2, when Joshua sent the spies to this place called Ai, that he, he tells them, go up to Ai, which is near Beth Avon, and it's east of Bethel. So we have three places involved here. Uh, not only Ai, but Beth Avon and uh, Bethel. And so uh, you would think, well, you know, if we can locate Bethel, we just go east, and that's where our site of I is going to be. But it gets a little more complicated than that. Now, uh, as I mentioned, David Livingston started his research by looking for or trying to locate the correct site for Bethel. Now, if you will read any Bible dictionary, Bible encyclopedia, or any book on Old Testament, uh, dealing with archaeology in the Bible or anything like that, and you uh, read the section on the conquest and uh, where it's going to talk about Jericho and I and these places, the book inevitably will tell you that Bethel is located here at Betin. Well, that's a mistake, and Livingston's work has shown that. Unfortunately, the majority of scholars have just ignored his research on that subject. I'm, I, I don't have time to go into all the details, but it just does not fit the biblical requirements or the extra biblical requirements. We actually have information outside the Bible that can help us locate Bethel. And Betin just does not fit. Elbira does fit. And that's what L Livingston's research uh, showed. So that's the part of the whole issue is relocating not only I, but we have to relocate Bethel from this place down to this place. Okay. So what about the location for I? Now scholars, again, if you read your <coughs> Old Testament books or books on archaeology in the Bible and you read about I, it will tell you I is located here. At Et Tel. Okay, it's, it's east of Betin. And so that's the main requirement is to be east of Bethel. If Betin is Bethel, then it has to be east of that uh, location. But as I say, that, that's wrong. We crossed that out. And uh, it has to be over here. Uh, incidentally, if, if you're interested in this subject, that it's complex and there's a lot to it, and I just can't cover everything in the time we have, uh, I have written up a, a quite a long article on the whole history of the search for Joshua's eye, and it will be published 
uh, in November, next month. It's coming out, and uh, I can give you information on that if, if you want it, and probably it'll be available uh, through our ministry eventually. Uh, and and I, I go through all the history of, of all of these locations and why they were picked and so on and so forth. At any rate, going back to uh, uh, Beitin, uh, the, the evidence does not stand up for that to be located, uh, to be identified as Bethel, but it does meet the requirements to be the Beth Ava mentioned in Joshua 7 2. And we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Now, scholars say et tel is that, and it's just based solely on the fact that that, locate, that site is east of 18. At et tel, they found a huge, huge uh, city from the early Bronze Age, from the time of Abra. In fact, it probably was destroyed or abandoned just even before Abraham's time, maybe 100 or 200 years before that. And then the city lay abandoned. So we're talking from about 2300 BC. Uh, it was abandoned from in the Middle Bronze Age, Late Bronze Age, all the way until the Iron Age, about 1100 BC, it was resettled. And so no matter when you would date the conquest, there was nothing there, nobody was living there, wasn't a fortified city. And so that's why scholars have come to the conclusion that the Bible is wrong, that the story we have never really happened.